Alright guys, this is going to be a super quick update. I just wanted to show you guys everything after the water cleared. Um, after yesterday, I redid my aqu aquascape and I added a whole bunch of new corals. Um, ending yesterday's video, the water was semi-cloudy still. So this, today it's super clear, so I just want to show you guys um, how everything actually looks. The aquascape yesterday was actually a really short process compared to my very first one and ironically I like this one a lot better. Um, so it was super successful and I'm loving it so far. So yeah, let's go ahead and look at everything. I'm going to start on this side. Fungia plate coral has a lot of room on the sand now to spread out. It gets super big with all that room. Here all are the blue pulsing zinnias. They have a lot of room to spread on their own there. And they have a lot of open space, so I'm hoping that soon they'll take over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut those paleys off. Because um, I don't want them to grow any quicker than the pulsing zinnias will grow, hopefully. And they seem to be flourishing pretty good in my tank, so just in case. Here are the mushrooms growing onto the sand bed. Back there the paleys, the green paleys. Alright, so new additions. Blue trumpet corals, they have the neon stripes in them. They seem to do, be doing pretty well now. Um, I gave them a good squeeze yesterday, but they have seemed to fluff end up quite a bit. My salinity in the tank is actually really, really high right now, but with all of the changes, I didn't want to stress out the corals too badly, so I haven't done anything yet. Um, these here are cotton candy hammer corals. They're green and purple. They're neon green and purple. They're kind of like an opal, to be honest with you. I love them. They look so good. Um, they're not. It's not super big right now. It's a little closed up, but... You know, you can look at it with a good flow. It looks pretty awesome. Here we have my green colony polypzoas. They're green on the inside and purple on the rim. I'm sure they have some funky name. I'm not sure what it is, though. Um, I cut off the paleys that were in the middle of it last night so that they can try to overgrow that. There's still footing if you see that, that like line in the middle right there. That's a footing from the green paley, so hopefully they don't grow back too quickly. I hope that the zoas can overgrow those. And right at the top of that rock, um, those are actually the reverse zoas of what's on that same rock. It's actually green in the center. I meant, no, it's purple in the center and it has like a lime green rim to it. Um, next to it, we have the yellow colony polyps. Those are doing really well right there. Um, they're reaching upward, getting fat. And then uh, right there we have a piece of red Montipora. And then up to the left is a smaller piece of that same red Montipora. Um, they haven't created a footing onto the rock yet, but hopefully, you know, soon they will. Here we have trees tarot trees see they are two different types of species but i have no idea what their names are if one of you guys could let me know i know the the they're, they're tarot trees and they may be cauliflowers but they're definitely not kenya trees um the person who sold me the rock with all those paleys on it and this rock here too that all came as one rock said that that was a kenya tree but i know someone with a kenya tree and that's not a kenya tree Oh, uh, I, I keep forgetting to mention this as well. When I bought this rock, this rock, and that rock right there with the paleys on it, um, I bought that rock with bristle worms in it, and I hate having bristle worms in my tank, so I'm going to look to buy a six-line grass to control their population. But anyway, here we have um, the Christmas tree, Montipora, and a piece of the red Montipora to the left. Now, if you can see, the green Christmas tree Montipora has a footing onto that rock, but that's actually a frag there. That's a that's a that's a piece of rubble. It's not 
it hasn't created the footing onto my actual rock. Um, but hopefully soon. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we have uh, some green polythoas, green and brown. Um, green in the center, brown on the outside. They're nice and hairy. They're doing really well right there. And here we have the night crawlers. They are pink and brown, and they look awesome in the LED lights. Um, they really, really glow. And down here are, they're kind of becoming my favorites, but you know, I don't want to give up on my Fungia Plate Coral. These are the dragon eyes, always. Those look awesome. Um, you know, a couple trees. Another tree down here. This is a this is a newcomer. This was a baby and it is sprouting super fast. Um, my cabbage leather coral. Two babies of the trees. The trees just grow everywhere. And then the blue. Did I already say these? Probably so. The green col the blue pol uh, colony polyps. No, I don't think so. I usually do those first. I didn't today. And then there's more trees down there. See, so the trees grow really fast. They reproduce really, really quickly. Oh, let me not forget. Here are the green star polyps. There, that, you know, that's a joke for a plug. Um, it's on the bottom side of it. But, you know, soon those are going to take over really, really quick. And they look really, really good. But it's hard to see them now but they actually have like a lot they have lime green in them with like a purple base um they have like lime green um polyps like tentacles coming off of them and then the center of them are actually white but you won't be able to see that until like they actually create a colony and colonize that whole plug and hopefully spread onto the rock so yeah this is my tank now i absolutely love it 15 gallons um it has gotten a lot, lot better with the new additions. It, I mean, it is really fun to look at. I think I sat in front of this for like two hours. This video ended up being a lot longer than I anticipated it to be. But uh, we are 12 weeks in now, day 85. So my tank is just about three months old. Um, I have Biomax in the filtration. I have decided that, you know... I'm not obsessed with getting a sump and a skimmer. Um, I, I'm obviously doing something right, you know, because the tank is doing pretty well. I have some red slime here, but it's controlled. Um, and I want to show you guys something. You see those white specks back there? Um, I've been reading, you know, white specks all over the filter. I've been reading that that's, you know, some type of worm or coat pods or that it is coralline algae. Well, I just saw yesterday, last night, that I actually have coralline algae growing right there those purple spots right there um growing on my back glass so i'm definitely doing something right um so i think you know i'm gonna take it slow or i'm not gonna go and get like a whole like five five to ten to fifteen gallon sump or anything i'm just gonna do like a hang on the back i'm just gonna do hang on the back sumps or hang on the back protein skimmers i don't know we'll see um but yeah this is the tank everything is looking good if you guys have any suggestions for me let me know see you guys next time